So I think April is going to be my month to kind of take a break. Maybe May also. I already got one. I got one video for May. I may try to do one for April that's special, but I'm, uh, it's probably not going to happen. So it'll be, um, yeah, I don't want to have a themed month. That way I can do whatever I want, which is yeah, that's kind of what Brickstar does, because I'm still trying to do this. Review every day, track all purchases, organize basements. So hopefully I'll give you an update of what we did in, what were the last two months? Let's see. Oh, yeah, March and February. <laughs> all right. Uh, went to the Lego store, picked up a bunch of green parts. And that's not from a BrickLink store. It is for the one of the Brick Model Railroader items I'm trying to build so they had some of the I well actually the two by four plates I don't think I need for that but I was just getting all the green elements on the brick a brick wall so hopefully I will can use some of them to build a green box car nobody has claimed brick 100 yet all right so um yeah oh let's go do the rest of the hall so the train table is kind of a mess right now um, we'll still be doing more train stuff in the future I want to do some of the brick model railroad or stuff i want to try to uh, get some things organized i may do some track ride videos or something like that because we got tons of track and the weather's getting good so i might do something outside uh, but for now we're going to do this haul it's the natural multi-fold towels the best towels i know of so they're well taped these multi we don't wouldn't want anything to happen to these multi-fold towels because they have multiple folds as opposed to a single fold. So if you only had a single fold, then you'd have a single fold towel and not a multi-fold. All right, so this is one of these auctions, it's an eBay auction, that, oh man, I think the guy probably paid as much in shipping as what the final uh, auction bid was so this was a buy it now <laughs> and I was really surprised at it, the price um, all right so we already had this one. Oh, I see why he, oh, oops I hit the camera Hold on. so a dollar 98 <laughs> all right this it looks like it's got a little bit of water damage maybe that's why it was so cheap uh, but it's a sealed Galador Euripides, which we already have a sealed one of these. So I'm thinking of collecting all of the uh, Galador sets. This has either been subjected to water or severe humidity. Or it's just been abused. $1.98. So this is... This is the one that I couldn't tell which one was which. It was in a two-pack. So who is this? It's on here somewhere. Uh, Nepal. Nipple. It's right there on the top by the sticker. Yeah, so I had one with the other character, uh, Schimmel, Napoleon Schimmel. <laughs> we have that. I'm going to work at collecting all these. And this was, it got me two of the sealed ones that I didn't have before. It's this one and the sealed Napole alone. This is Gorm. Not Gorn, Gorm. All right, so that gave us three items. And including ship, I mean the whole auction, all right, the whole thing. This is, I had to go ahead and bite on it. It was, let me see if I can do this with a better angle there. The whole auction, twenty dollars, twenty dollars for three. And I'm always, I'm trying to look at some of these sealed ones for ten to twenty dollars a piece, and I got three of them for twenty dollars, and that was the whole price, everything. So a very good deal in my opinion. Uh, so Galador, yeah, so we're going to be working, don't go buy all the Galador stuff, I'm, let me get it first, and then, then you can go buy some of it, I got, um, a few more to get, and, yeah, because they didn't make a lot of Galador, because it stunk, uh, anyway, that's the video for the, the haul portion, so I did put some things in a box, not this box, so this is box R10, which was one of the last boxes, this, it was the last box of this size that I did, that's some stuff that we've done videos on recently, but and it's not going to be R11. R11 is one I just filled up. I got about 50 sets in there. Oh, before I go, my hair is messed up. I don't want to get back on the camera. So this is my BrickLink store where I sell Lego, and I got to put some more pieces in here. I had like 310 plus thousand pieces. It's down a lot less than that now because we've sold quite a few. 
Uh, I have inventoried almost 700,000 pieces in my personal collection, which is, because that's not, that's my BrickLink store right there. Uh, and then my personal collection is all the other stuff, <laughs> which is in this room, and then there's another room over there. So I've inventoried over 3,500 sets, and it includes a, Three five thousand minifigures in almost seven hundred thousand parts, and I still got more to do. So that's what I've been working on um, in my spare time. I was watching that drawer that I left open. I was watching Star Trek and sorting through some things. So I might do another um, putting things in a box video. <laughs> but this box took a little longer because it was a bunch of smaller sets and. I've been going through checking on brick set. It's like I'm missing a lot of stuff that I thought I had. And I'm going to be adding more things to my wanted list there on brick set. I'll put a link, if I remember, if I forget, uh, I'll put a link to uh, brick my brick set inventory. If you want to see what I've inventoried so far. Um, yeah, it's thirty over 3,500 sets and over 3,000, I should say sets, it's items, because it also includes books, you know, things like this, like a flash, did I put that in my inventory? This is like one of those, uh, oh, that's a pen, that's Nacho, Pink Bucket Nation, see you guys, bye, that's not in my inventory, that's not in my inventory, uh, that's not in my inventory, I gotta get the rest of the pieces for that, anyway, see you guys in the next video, yeah.